Hello everyone, today I will be doing a review of the Lego Ninjago 71746 Jungle Dragon set. It comes with four minifigures, a side build, a dragon, and is set in the Lego Ninjago Season 14 theme. First we'll be taking a little look at the minifigures. First one here is Zane. He comes with a bow, a little quiver here, and has some nice printing on the front. The leg printing could be a bit better though. There is no arm printing or anything like that on this minifigure. The next mini minifigure is the Rumble Keeper. He has a white spear and a nice mask here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a new piece exclusive for this season of in Ninjago. If I move the spear away and take off the mask, you can see a bit more. The face print is fairly normal and there is no alternate face. The torso and leg printing and the back torso printing are the same as the next minifigure. The next minifigure is Paul Eric. I'm fairly sure I didn't pronounce that right, but it's pretty good. Uh, again, there aren't any alternate faces on this minifigure. The minifigure has two heads and the same torso and leg printing. It's the same style of hairpiece as some of the main figures from the season 13 wave. Season 14. The last main figure is Lloyd. Here he has a little machete and a bone. Take this away. You can see the torso printing. And all the main figures in the set are quite good. Here the torso printing is also nice as well, same with the leg printing. On the back he has a single katana. If we take the minifigures away, that leaves us with a few things. Here, this is the piece that comes in every single set. It's, it is called the amulet. It's the whole point of this season. It's the special thing, special item. However you would like to call it. Here is the side build. It is it's kind of like the catamans in that set, but very small and it has a bit more of a surfing feel and a sailing feel to it because of the small sail here. This here is not a sticker but a print. There are two little swords on the bottom here and some stud, sh stud shooters. The uh, shield piece here is used for the angling. It's a fairly good side build. They have to include this because they can't just include this in the minifigures or else it's not a proper set. Here, here is the main attraction of this set, the jungle dragon. So far, from from what I've learned from watching the Ninjago episodes, its name is Zippy and it acts rather dog like. There's a few wings here, but the first thing I would like to talk about is the proportions of the whole set. Like here these should be these pieces should be a bit straighter, but there's nothing Lego can do about that. The wings feel a little bit big, the tail feel, feels a bit short and the body feels a bit small. But apart from that, this set is actually quite nice. The tip of the tail here is, is rubber in the colour sand green. The tail design is quite nice. And instead of using the train link pieces, it uses Technic, uses Technic axles put through a bunch of holes to keep it together. The tail is rather stubby when you think about it, but the design works quite nice with the shield pieces. The legs here are loosely inspired by the uh, Bone Dragon. Maybe it's just a t that type of style, but this piece keeps on popping up over and over again. So the legs feel a bit similar to the Bone Dragon, only shorter. This set has a few. S this set has uh, a few things in common with this set here, the Overlord Dragon. For starters, they both have the same dragon. Fly style of wing, 
which has become more common recently because the uh, car, um, Jay's Cyber Dragon has the same style of wings as well. So I feel like we'll be seeing a lot more of this style of wings in the future as well. The jaw here is also the same one as on the Overlord Dragon, just different pieces or different piece colors. Yeah, it does look pretty good with the tongue hanging out using the claw piece here. The uh, top of the head is a bit shorter than the lower jaw. The horns here stick out on the back a bit, but that's okay. This this here on the head is all print apart from this top piece, which is a sticker. Along with this, this, and that piece there. And the piece on the bear as well. This set is almost symmetrical. Almost. The reason I say that is because of the printing here. You can see this eye is kind of closed and this eye is open, so the dragon looks a little bit crazy. And here, on the feet, is a little chain attached to what looks like a shackle. Each feet, each foot has one of those, but I feel like they are shackles, not just the way the dragon is, because it doesn't match with the color scheme. Yeah, the feet aren't that big compared to a few other sets, and they use the regular pieces with the tooth and the claw pieces here, just to make the toes. That's quite normal as well. The color theme of this set is teal and uh, gold. It works quite nice, and I never, I never thought I would be seeing a teal dragon in Lego Ninjago. Now, what I said earlier about the dog-like appearance in the show. In the show, it acts like a dog. It has a tongue sticking out. It has a tail, and it does wag. Uh, this part here is at a fixed angle, so you can't move it. So it will always be like this. So it looks a bit like it's crouching as well. If I was to rate the server out of 10, I would definitely give it a 9. Probably even more. It's a great set for me. I like the colour theme. It's a pretty good size and it comes with a decent amount of figures, as well as the nice detail. I feel like there are a bit too many stickers on this set, but just looking over it over, I can see a set with much more stickers. So this set is quite agreeable even though I wish I could have moved this joint here. But for me, that's not too big of a problem. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.